guys, my name is Sidiac and welcome to this brand new game called Steam and Steel where your boy is going to be creating a brand new trade company where we must grab scoops of coal uh, and we got to then deliver the cargo to its destination but we need to lay down all of the train tracks to get from point A to point B. We need to put in like sit in side ins however you've been pronouncing them right now. Uh, yards, main lines, roundabouts. There's a lot of stuff that we kind of need to do to get this train company up and running. So if you do enjoy this guys, smash that like button down below and if you want to see more of it then make sure you do subscribe so you get notified when more episodes do come out leave a comment say thank you for playing some more and we'll do just that boys but um it's an interesting one uh this game is currently like beta alpha we would call it it's currently paid access and here i am we're gonna begin a new game it's the first time i've been playing it as well so a new game and railway name uh, seniax railway we're gonna call it the fools we, we know what we're calling this boys uh, Foles, trans if, if, I got, if I can fill it all in, Transport Inc. Uh, map, Coal Valley. Okay, we can have that. Uh, yes, it's the only one we can currently choose right now. And we're going to press Start. So, is it doing it? Did I, did I unselect the map? <gasps> We're being teleported, boys. The Fool's Transport Inc. is about to come to life. So there's a little video on the game page right now, and there's a dude chugging along through the mountains on the train line. And I think you have to place the train tracks down yourself and then load the vehicles yourself. I'm not 100% sure. I'm just going off what is the little preview video of the game page. So, steam and steel. Coal Valley. Uh, yeah, boy. It's, it's all steam engines as well, which is really, really exciting. So we play the way the game. And we're going to be rocking and rolling. So here we are. So by the looks of it then, I've got 10,000 big ones in the bank. Let me switch over to here so you can see my cash money moolahs. 10,000 big ones currently in the bank right now. And this is my freight depot. Uh, the train tracks literally go to here and they pretty much stop. And there's a forest in the background there. There's all different places dotted around. There is a distillery over in the distance as well. There's a farm over there. Do you know what? You, guys, do you know what? This feels like Transport FIFA 2, but in Roblox right now. What is going on? What is going on? So I'm not really too sure what we're meant to be doing. I don't think they've implemented a tutorial just yet, so it could be pretty much just guesswork. Now, this is all our coal storage over here right now to fill up the train so we can power it via... Is it via, via steam? Is, it, is this a steam train, a coal train? Uh, we've got some carriages right now which we can transport some goods. And by the looks of over here, there seems to be a little bit of a building. What is in the building, boys? I can't even open the door. They won't let me in. How freaking dare you? Uh, open industry? <gasps> Ooh, oh, it's my storage. Okay, this makes sense. So, this is my freight depot. Okay, sweet, 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 sweet. So we have a little bit of a map then we can kind of explore. And if we, uh, oh, okay. So if we move around, uh, my freight deposit. This is literally Transport Fever 2, boys. I can't move um, with anything but the mouse. Right, there is a farm over here. Uh, I'm looking around right now for some points of interest. Farm. Uh, where did I see some cows? Oh, there we go. The distillery's over there. All right, sweet boy, sweet. And I'm assuming as time goes on, they'll add more and more stuff to the game. There's a farm over here, a slaughterhouse, an iron mine. Oh my goodness me. This is, oh, a quarry, a lumber mill. Right, okay, sweet. Okay, where am I right now? I'm completely, I, I don't know where I am. There's a slaughterhouse there, lumber mill. Aha, there's my freight depot right now. <laughs> so here's my freight depot then. So how do I build then? Let me let me go into the build mode. Build. And that's how we can add stuff to it. We can place down. Uh, but the looks of it our own buildings, which is interesting. We've got the planner. Oh, we've got a track guide just there. We've got some settings just here. We have a store as well where we can add and build and place and extend our current um, kind of carriage line, if that's what you want to call it. Now, should I try and build a line to... I mean, it might be a little bit difficult, but try and build a line to the farm. Let's see if that's possible. So the parallel track guide right now, this shows us how we pretty much do it. So, okay, so if I wanna build track, all right, planner, track guide, there. Oh, okay, okay, okay right, okay, I, I figured out how you do uh, parallel stuff. I figured out how you do parallel stuff. Right, let me come out of build mode. Can I, can I, can I do this again? So track, build mode on. No, <laughs> I've already messed up. I, right, delete mode on. 
We've got a hole to demolish. Right, I don't want to demolish all that. Right, build mode. I think because I did the parallel, I kind of slightly might have messed up. I think I might have slightly messed up. Um. Oh, no, there we go. Oh, there we go. Can I kick again? Oh, okay, right, sweet. Can I go map mode and do this? I, I might be able to. It's a little bit difficult to kind of... Uh, no, okay. I, can I? Right, and then go down this way. Because there's like a little bit of a gap here. <gasps> Guys, this is amazing. Oh my goodness me. Now, we're going through this little cavern thing, which is quite difficult to... Uh, to do. The farm is just here. So I'm going to bring the train tractor just there. Right, okay. Let's get out of here. Let's get out of build mode. Right. We have a train track now all underway. So let's see how we went to a uh, choo-choo in our train right now. Choo-choo-choo-choo. We'll chug along and go and see what's going down. So am I able to... Do I just, ju do I just jump in? Is this how it works? <gasps> okay, so we need to shovel in our own coal. Which my dude's doing it right now. Ah, <laughs> this is pretty good. Okay, so let's increase the throttle. Uh, do we need to shovel more coal? I think I might need to shovel more coal in first. Right, more coal. I'm shoveling all the coal in right now. <laughs> and then, uh, <clears throat> do I release the brake? Throttle, throw. How do I go? Wait, oh, hang on. The, the, the coal thing's filling up here. How much coal do I need to put in? Do we just keep going until we've got like enough pressure within our engine and then we can start skadoodling? I think it might be. I'm not quite sure how I meant to... Um, have I got to wait till my dude stopped um, shoveling? I think I might have clicked it one too many times. <laughs> so we're going to try and skadoodle to the farm area then. And we're going to build some buildings to hopefully we can pick up whatever resource is currently available uh, to, um, to transport from the farm. I'm not sure where I'm going to have to take it though because at the end of the day, whatever resource is over there needs to go to a destination. And like I said, I'm not too sure where it's meant to go. So, right, shoveling. How do I end the shoveling process? My dude is still shoveling right now. Right, there we go. Can I get back on the train? Right, I'm here. So, um, reverser. Okay, now we're starting to move. Now we're starting to move, but not very well. Release the brake. Oh, there we go. I'm slightly nervous. Can I do the whistle? Oh, this is pretty cool. This is pretty cool. Okay, so I don't have any carriages on right now because I'm just pretty much learning the law of the land. And, uh... Okay, that is the, the reverser. So, when you get to a slight little bit of grading or a slight little bend to what I did right there, we are going to slow down because it's going to be a little bit of traction for what the engine can produce. But we are tooting, tooting, boys. <laughs> so that's the importance of making sure that your, your train tracks aren't too bendy. Because the bendy that they are, the slower that your boy is going to be able to travel. Now, this little section here, we had to slightly carve into the gland. We should have kind of bent around this way and gone that way in. But we've kind of dug slightly into the mountain and created uh, this little edge in. Which is actually really, really cool, isn't it? It is really cool. So, we're going to start thinking about it in a minute of uh, slowing down. Because now we're reaching the farm area. Which is not really much going on, but this is where you then start to build your own buildings, I assume, anyway. I assume, boys, I assume. So we're going to actually bring the throttle right down. Apply the brake. Now, what happens if I run off the track? What happens then? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. So we're right where the farm area is now going to be. And here we can open up the industry. So from here, we can load up cattle and grain. Now, I'm going to assume the cattle. Right. I mean, how do you load... Yeah, cattle, there you go. And then you take the cattle to the slaughterhouse. Right, right? Now, my other process, thought process is, on the map, we also have the distillery. What's over here? There's a mechanic shop. Where's the distillery? Hold on. Forest, lumber mill. Slaughterhouse is in the distance. The distillery... There's another farm just there. There is a distillery around somewhere. 
just over here. Now, I'm assuming you take wheat to the distillery, which gets turned into beer. Isn't that how you produce beer? Uh, cattle to the slaughterhouse, you know, to make meats and treats. And I think that's how you pretty much get it all set up. So if I was going to build mode right now and track objects, um, how do... How do I kind of build stuff to it? A coaling station, a wood station, storage? Does it just need to be within the vicinity of this? I'm assuming it does. Um, can I rotate it? Rotate it? Okay, I placed down a storage building. I don't know why. I, we we kind of didn't need one here. And that's just cost me so much cash. Right, delete mode. Can I hold a delete? Yeah, you get your money back, which is pretty good. Which is pretty good. So you can change all the oh, you can change all the curves and the gradients and all this stuff here. I didn't even realize. Right, left switch, right switch, right track. Um, we kind of need to get it. Do I need to get it close to this buildings, coaling station? See, that would be pretty good to uh, you know. Oh, we can add a coaling station so we can load up on coal if I'm doing like long journeys. Uh, wood storage shelf, wood. Sorry, products increasing energy storage by products. Uh, a small storage increase the oh so you add a storage down it means the the farm can hold more products is pretty much what they're saying but i don't have anything over here right now so i think i'm going to get the tracks go to build mode build mode arm and then just kind of go to here with this and then hmm that, that was kind of a uh, shocking shockingly bad how do i go to delete mode hold to delete now i'm assuming if i just put the train track there we're all good i don't know because i don't really know how you meant to load up but we need to head back grab some carriages and uh to see how all this process works right now so the reverse they're on get rid of the brake oh my dude's looking backwards as well <laughs> right let's go and get some bring, bring the train to a stop just there now, I don't know. I don't actually know which one we would need to kind of pick up the grain. I'm going to assume it's the box car. I think you can go into store right now and then select like stuff. So you can see this here. I mean, that's what it's about to spawn in this area. But we're looking for maybe, what's a box car? Right, cow wagon, ballast wagon. Oh, this ballast wagon here, which can take um, grain, which is pretty much what we would need, right? Grain? Uh, can hold uh, 18 grain. Problem is though, these are kind of in the way. Now, if I come out of store and go to build mode and delete, how do you delete a? I mean, I don't want to delete the track, but how do you delete a wagon? Yes, track objects, planner, uh, store. I right, get out of the store uh, there. Yeah, how do you delete these things? I don't technically want these, but at the same time, I might have to get these. A flat wagon. Where's the uh, the steak wagon? Wait, all wagons. All right, that one there. That one. Oh, right, that one could carry grain as well. Okay, so we would be okay, but just not as much. But then again, I don't really have as much. So I need to get the trade to connect to this. So hold on. How do you do this then? So bam. Guys, this is a bit too good. This is a little bit too good right now. Right, bam. I gotta shovel some more coal in because my um, it's kind of empty. Oh no. <laughs> right, go back, Sediac. Go back. Shove some coal in. Get rid of the brake. I've done it again. How do you connect to it? Are we now connected? A little bit of throttle? No. Right, wait for it to be kind of close by. Ah, okay. Well, that's not close. I'm knocking those other ones completely off the train tracks right there. <laughs> right, push it back slightly. Connected. Connected. Now, unfortunately, we're going to have to leave those little box cars just there. We're figuring out how you do it, boys. So we're going to stand here right now. We're going to uh, go forward. We're going to go full throttle. And we're now going to shovel loads of coal in as we skadoodle. My coal storage on the train is getting a little bit lower. But we're now making some progress. Right, keep shoveling, boy. 
Because we're going to run out of uh, coal before you know it. I'm just going to keep loading up as we're making our way over there right now. And uh, just ultimately see if we can actually load any good. Hold up then, but I'm going to assume, right, I don't really know how to... I'm not going to be able to load anything. I just have this feeling I'm not going to be able to. So grain and then load. And then how does that work? Is my train okay? Are you okay there, little train? Do I have to pick where it loads it on? How does that work? My train is dying. <laughs> I'm letting all the steam out right now. Whistle. Oh no, get back on. Get back on the train. I've let the whistle blow. Yeah, I don't quite know how I'm meant to load the grain. I don't know if I need to be like alongside the actual station. This is the problem that I've kind of got. So I've edited the train track to have a, almost like a little bit of a straight bit going around it right now. <clears throat> if the train will go around this, this is kind of crazy. Right, and then break. All right, there we go. Get rid of the, uh, the thrust there. Will it now load? Oh, it does. It does. It actually does. So, ideally, you gotta get it all kind of like alongside it, which kind of now makes absolute sense. And it's costing me um, $11 per bag of grain that we now kind of load up. Now, is it only gonna load it to this one? I'm assuming it's. Oh no, it's continuing. It's continuing. But obviously, we need to take this. Uh, to the distillery. I'm going to assume it. Um, I, I wish they told us what the industry needs were. They probably do, and I just don't listen. There's probably a tutorial somewhere, and I've just kind of skipped over it. But, uh, yeah, this is pretty cool. So it gets to there. Does it then load this up at the back? No, okay. I need to move that carriage, uh, that trailer, a little bit further alongside. But that's interesting. So I'm going to need to make proper stations. Connect the stations all properly. Um, and then be able to create this vast transport network where I can move goods from one side of the map to the other. Guys, if you want to see more of this game in the future, then smash a like button down below. Leave a comment saying it's an AQ4 place and more, and we'll do just that. But if you are new around here, subscribe so you get notified when more episodes of this come out. This is pretty much Transport Fever 2, but in Roblox. Until next time, I see you all soon. So, goodbye.